One of the widely used circuits in crossover design is the L-pad resistor network. Suppose we have two drivers and the sound pressure level of one of them is higher than the other. High frequency drivers or tweeters usually have a higher sound pressure than woofers after assembling the speaker. It can also be true for mid-range drivers. One solution for this problem is an L-pad resistor network. The L-pad helps us equalize their levels. This website calculates the values of R1 and R2. Its link is available in the description. Enter the driver's DC resistance in the first cell. The second is the attenuation value in dB. And the third is the power of your amplifier in watts. Suppose the SPL of a 6 ohm driver must be reduced by 6 dB. After that, click on Compute. As you can see, the values of R1 and R2, and their allowed power have been calculated. The consumed power of the driver has also been calculated. But what can we do if the website is no longer available? We should learn how to design the LPAD based on its relationships. First, we model the speaker with the resistor called R3, which is equal to the DC resistance of the driver. The input impedance is equal to As you know, the result of this formula equals the resulting resistance of the parallel resistors. Pay attention that the value of the input impedance must be equal to the previous impedance of the speaker or R3. We also need another relationship. Voltage dividing relationship. KV in is lower than V in. Because of the voltage dividing of the resistors, Now, we can write a formula for R1. After that R2. Substitute R1 in this equation. After some time, R1 and R2 were easily obtained. We must write the voltages in dB. You should know that with this formula, the voltage ratio is obtained in dB. K, N, R1, and R2 are known values now. Let's try the same values as the introduced website at the beginning of the video. Attenuation was 6 dB, and the speaker impedance was 6 ohms. As we wanted, the input impedance is 6 ohms, which is equal to the DC resistance of the driver. The values are the same as the website. 
As you can see, we need to define the maximum allowed power for each resistor. The input power is divided between the resistors. If we don't know their allowed power and choose low power resistors, they may be destroyed at high sound levels of the amplifier. The input power enters the circuit. We have two most used relationships for electrical power. According to the second one, the consumed power of R2 is equal to Now substitute R2 in the equation Pn is equal to And this part is the Pn. Therefore, the consumed power of R2 is. There are two currents, I2 and I3, for R2 and R3 respectively. The sum of these currents passes through R1. According to the first equation for electrical power, we can write. For the driver, we can write Now, if we determine the input power as 100 watts, these values will be obtained for R1, R2, and R3, which are the same as the website values. Thanks for watching.